What's up everybody? Today we are talking about how to take a punch like Rod Tang. This guy can just drop his hands, have people unload power shots on him, and then he just yells and trucks forward and continues his attack after taking full blown shots. How does he do it? Is there a secret? Well, today we're gonna to break down everything you can do to be a little bit more like Rod Tang and have that ability to take shots without getting knocked down or knocked out. Now there in the world are always people who are exceptional, exceptional in different aspects, whether it comes to sports, whether it comes to business, people who are just above and beyond. And ironically, the sponsor for today's episode is trying to help people become superhuman. I am talking about Newtopia from by Optimizer. Pretty much all of you guys have seen Limitless, that movie with Bradley Cooper, where he takes a pill and his brain just goes into overdrive and he becomes the best version of himself. Well, that's what Newtopia is trying to do. We're using some fantastic products to boost you up, to make you your best version. I've been taking these before my most recent fights and the focus which I've been having, the drive, the concentration, all of that has been phenomenal. And it tastes good too. When you order Newtopia from Buy Optimizers, you get a box with all sorts of amazing products, but I'm gonna highlight one for you here. This is called Zamner Juice. Zamner Juice is a good mood booster that will feel almost immediately, raising your sense of mental well-being. It can help you achieve more by reducing anxiety and stress. All you do for this one, a couple squirts under the tongue, let it sit there for a moment, swallow. This one actually tastes like pomegranate. It is fantastic. Rapid neurotransmitter stimulation and all of these go together super well. Whatever is coming up in your life, whatever challenges you're facing, this is here to help you just as it's been helping me in my fight performances. If you want to get the best new tropics on the market, the guys who go above and beyond in all their products, which I featured before on the channel, like magnesium. If you want to get on board with these guys, you can head over to newtopia.com forward slash Gabriel and use that promo code Gabriel10 to save 10%. Now let's return to talking about one of the baddest men in fight sports, Rod Tang. What makes him so exceptional? Well, he has many things which are really just, ooh, that's really amazing about this guy. But one of the things that stands out most is his ability to take a punch. Pretty much, I'm assuming by now, most of his opponents are going, I can't knock this guy out. How am I gonna knock this guy out? He keeps getting hit in the head. He'll take flush head kicks and he does not drop. Now, while I'm not endorsing anybody to go into the gym and start taking punches to learn to deal with it, yes, there are things we can do at home which are safe, which are gonna help you be able to take punches like Rod Tang does. Maybe not exactly like him because there are some things genetically which are helping him, but will help you improve so you don't have that flimsy glass jaw which some people do have. So let's start off and talk about some of the areas that we can look to improve, why they're important, and then I will give you some exercises that will help you get that conditioning which is just gonna be so very important for taking punches. Very first thing, neck strength. Obviously, if somebody comes to punch you and your neck is weak and you get whiplash back, there's more likelihood you are going to get knocked out. So having neck tension in the shots or while the shots come is going to make a world of difference. Now, a lot of people don't know how to strengthen their neck. And fortunately, I already have some amazing follow along videos which you can utilize. If you can follow along with these two or three times a week, your neck strength is just gonna build. And I believe that's one of the reasons why in my career I have not been knocked out hard because I'm able to do those neck conditioning exercises. But maybe if I did it seven days a week, along with everything else I'm gonna mention today, I would have never even been knocked down. Kind of like what I've seen from Rod Tang and what I've seen, dude never gets knocked down. So strengthen that neck. Next thing we can do is jaw strengthening exercises. When your mouth guard is in, and if your jaw is loose and you get hit, 
there's more chance you're gonna get your head whipped around. If you bite down on that mouth guard, if you have a strong jaw, you can definitely increase the strength. Now there are already training tools in the martial arts world where you can bite down on things, work that clenching, that jaw situation. But in addition, when you're doing your pad work or anything like that, really bite down on that mouth guard. Squeeze down sometimes when you're hitting and your jaw is just gonna get that extra work, which I believe and I'm pretty sure most people, experts in the fight world, will agree that it is going to help you take a shot. Next up, I wanna talk about the visuals. We very rarely see Rod Tang get hit when his eyes are closed because that means he's not gonna get smacked, eyes shut, doesn't see the shot, and then goes out. It is so much easier to take a shot with your eyes open. How do we train that? We get confident with shots coming at us. I might come up to somebody really light and just go, pop, 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 and just touch their head a bunch. Just, and you just get used to not blinking as shots come. Some people even go like this at them and they're like, oh. So build that confidence in your eyesight. Now, when we see Rod Tang take punches, we are under the impression that, my gosh, this guy just doesn't go down. He just sits there, he takes them and nothing else is hurting him. But the reality is, most of the time when he gets hit, he's moving with it a little bit. He's moving with the shot. He's not standing here and fighting against it or moving into it where he gets rattled. There's a little bit of motion. So learn when you get hit to move with the shot. You still keep your eyes on because as we just mentioned, seeing the next shot is super important. I turn a little bit, but not so much that I lose sight. And having that ability is very beneficial. I've been working with one of my students on trying to improve his overall slipping in game. I take a pool noodle and I slap it at his face. Every time he gets hit, he just has to roll with it. This is something Rod Tang does most of the time, which people miss because it's so fast, which allows him to not get flat out knocked out when he's taking these big punches. In addition, it's very, very rare to see Rod Tang take a massive shot on the chin. A lot of times he's taking shots up here. It is so much easier to take a hard punch in this zone as opposed to down here if you're not rolling with it. If you're rolling with it, yeah, it doesn't matter that much. But when he takes big shots, a lot of times they're up high, he keeps his chin tucked, and from there, it's much harder to target that jaw. Very simply, you want to take shots like Rod Tang, you, not, you want to avoid going down when you get hit. Tuck that chin and just bite down, flex the neck, get good eyes. All of this will make you that much less likely to get dropped. Now there are a number of ways to strengthen everything in the body. Biting down on something like a towel. Just put a towel in there, kind of just really work those muscles. That's gonna help. When I was in Thailand, they had a piece of wood, string attached, rope at the bottom, they would grab it, bite on it, and do neck exercises. Like I said, I already have a video which you can follow along with, which doesn't require you putting things in your mouth and potentially wrecking your teeth. This is just something you can do at home, no equipment required, fantastic way to work that neck. But in addition, you can do things like push. You're trying to push your head to the side and you're doing resistance training. You can do that right now. Maybe do 30 reps until your neck starts to really flare up. Then you go the other direction, hands on the back of the head, resisting, pushing forward, resisting. All of this is going to strengthen those neck muscles. And you just basically go to the point where you feel fatigue, stop there, feel how you're doing tomorrow. And then bit by bit, if you realize, oh, my neck muscles aren't sore, my neck muscles are getting used to this training, then you start increasing the resistance and lifting up those number of reps. As I mentioned, there's no massive secret on how to take shots. Part of it is genetics, part of it is hard training, eyesight, just everything in general adds up. Are we all gonna be able to walk forward and take shots like Rod Tang? No. Do we wanna walk forward and take shots like Rod Tang? No, I don't wanna do that. I wanna have my hands up. I wanna win fights with minimal damage. Rod Tang is young. I believe he's under 25. The amount of punishment which he absorbs is quite high. Hopefully in the length of his career, it does not affect him. It doesn't make him have to stop before he's 30, but there's that possibility. So don't make this episode or follow along with the episode and think your goal is to become Rod Tang and take lots of punches. No, we do the exercises which are gonna strengthen the neck, strengthen the jaw, help you with your eyesight, learn to roll with shots, and we go 
our goal is to not get hit, but if we do get hit, not get knocked down. Anyway, that is my episode on how to take punches like Rod Tang. I am very appreciative to Newtopia from Bioptimizers for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you head over and check out the site at newtopia.com forward slash Gabriel. Use that promo code Gabriel10. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a like. Remember, Rod Tang, I believe, is scheduled to be fighting in March. Always exciting watching him fight. If everything is still the same, I believe he's fighting Superlek, who is a very high-skilled fighter. Might not knock Rod Tang out, but has a good chance of beating him on points. So make sure you mark your calendar, head over to the 1FC site, look when it is, mark your calendar, and get ready for some more Rod Tang action. As always, guys, thank you for joining. Train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another episode.